sidebar with Sam. So, good news is, I'm not fired. Here I am, back in the office in Jersey. Bad news, I owe Sean and Mike AirPods ASAP. So, I'm hoping Brittany can help me set up one of those GoFundMe kind of links, and that might be in the comments, Brittany, please. And we can all work together to get Sean and Mike AirPods. And while we're getting them AirPods, I could use some AirPods. But so things in the office have been a little tense since the whole sabotage situation, but it's been okay. Dina actually invested in a oil diffuser for the office and it's really great. I can pick every morning what kind of oils I want since it's been a little tense in here. I've been doing calming, relaxing oils and that gets sprayed into the office and I just feel very zen in my cubicle. And Justin also said he would invest in getting beanbag chairs for a corner in our office that would just really make me feel better about the fact that Sean and Mike have been spending a lot of time at Bell Works and not in the office because I sabotaged them. Stay tuned. Hello. What's up guys? We're gonna go check out some iconic artwork that we just hung at the Sabre Garden City office. Very excited about it. The big homie Brian Mazza just did a collaboration with Iconic. Uh, nothing changes if nothing changes. Very excited about that. Don't worry Brian, I'm picking up that piece too, but for now we got some motivational stuff going on here. For, for the team, you know, coming off the heels of the all hands meeting, I feel like this is just gonna take everybody to the next level. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Is Kyle excited? Always. <laughs> Always excited. <laughs> so I just arrived at the Cobb Convention Center in Atlanta, Georgia to speak on a panel on personal development in commercial real estate with my boy Chris Ressa from DLC and Beth Azor. Uh, excited to do it and uh, come follow along. We're talking about growing your personal brand with digital media and financial results. I'm going to kick us off with um, a couple of quick videos. We built a digital media uh, company within our company so we can get creative and actually on the fly just do a video on a specific property, on a specific need, on you know the audience exactly that we're looking for and then we can target that audience through ad spend on Facebook. But again, we won't just do that. You know, we do all of the above. Uh, and ultimately, you know, there's, you don't know which one's gonna be successful, but you do know that by doing all of the above, you're gonna get it in front of more eyeballs. So I am here with Chris Ressa. We just finished a panel for our What's up, friend, everyone? our friend Beth Hazor. Awesome, I she's mean, the best. It had to be done. So we're talking about personal branding, the use of social media in commercial real estate, and this guy is absolutely crushing it. Not as much as him, but um, <laughs> the the panel was about trying to get people to start using it to start branding themselves, and I think it went well. What do you think? I think it went great, man. Awesome. All right, good stuff. Take care. Just arrived the airport a few hours early. Gonna try to get on an earlier flight into either JFK or LaGuardia, or wherever I can get on. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I spent one day in Atlanta speaking on a panel about personal branding in commercial real estate. Um, I wanna thank everybody for the positive feedback that I received while in Atlanta. Met a lot of people that I interact with on social media but have never met in person. And uh, I was hoping that would be the case, and it was. And I think our industry needs to innovate a little bit more. People need to be willing to get on camera, willing to put video content out, willing to use social media to uh, enhance their businesses. Uh, the way I look at it is I can only shake so many hands in a day, and by using video like this, I could say hello to people that I know and don't know on a weekly basis. So. Enjoy, start using video content, and let me know how it goes.